Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I know this devotion is being approached a bit differently. But parents and kids, this devotion is for you, especially you kids, okay? This is for you guys. We're going to do a family prayer listening practice. That is a mouthful, isn't it? But parents, guardians, babysitters, grandparents, teachers, if you are taking care of little ones this day, I encourage you to take a moment to be able to share this little video or maybe just the audio of it with your little one or little ones during quiet time or right before nap time or at bedtime, okay? I mean, it will, you parents, it will give you a break from the frozen soundtrack that your kids are probably listening to quite a bit. Adults, this is really designed for the kids, okay? And this little practice will work best if you listen along with them and help your little ones through it. And helping them to feel and to sense and to go through whatever their thoughts may be. Okay? So let's give it a whirl. Hi friends! How has your day been? Have you done anything fun today? Have you done anything exciting? Have you learned anything new? Or was it a day that you felt kind of sad or frustrated? It happens. Maybe you even kind of got mad at mom or dad or a brother or a sister. Or maybe you're just missing your friends from school who you haven't seen for so long. This is a time when it's really hard to be a kid. It just is. Okay? So I want to help you talk to God about what you are feeling today. Okay? And I want you to know, whatever you're feeling, it's okay. Our feelings are healthy and good things. They are signals to us to maybe do something or not do something. All of our feelings are good. Sometimes, though, we do things that maybe can hurt ourselves or others because of those feelings. So we're here today to kind of understand our feelings and give them to God and help us work through them, okay? Because our feelings are beautiful things given to us by God. So we're going to take a break today and slow down a little, all right? And we're going to take some deep breaths and we're going to talk to God. That's what we're going to do. So first, let's all slow down a little, okay? So if you can, if you can turn off the TV or ask for some help to turn it off, or your iPad or your iPod, okay? And step away maybe from that puzzle or that game. And let your hands take a break. Our hands, your, our little hands get so busy sometimes, don't they? And let's just say to them, hands, it's time to rest, okay? They're beautiful how they work, aren't they? And let's just let them rest for a while. Now I want you to get cozy, okay? You just um, lay down on your bed if you want, get comfortable there, or sit in your favorite chair, or if you're listening to this in the car, okay? Kind of get comfortable if you can in that car seat. I know they can kind of get uncomfortable. I'm sorry about that, yeah. But get, I want you to get ready to take some deep breaths with me. Okay, we're going to take some deep breaths. 
So I want you to start by reaching high, 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 up into the sky as far as you can, okay? And there up in the sky, I want you to see those feelings that you felt today. And I want you to grab them. So if you see happy float by, I want you to grab happy, okay? Or if you felt sad today, grab sad. Or if you felt frustrated today, grab frustrated. And bring those feelings in your fist, bring them all the way down to your chest, and just hold them there for a moment, okay? Whatever your emotion is, I want you to just hold it there. Your, your emotion could be loneliness, okay? It could be confusion. It could be a lot of different feelings, okay? Now hold them in your hands, and we're going to take a deep breath for four seconds, and then we're going to let go of that breath for four seconds, okay? So I want you to breathe in with me, okay? One, two, three, four. Now I want you to let that breath out. One, two, three, four. Very good. You did a great job. Now, what I want you to do, now that your body is, is kind of calm, I want you to give those emotions to God. But this is how I want you to give them. We're going to offer a prayer to God. We're going to talk to God when we give our feelings and emotions to Him, okay? And we're going to pray the prayer, Come Holy Spirit, okay? Can you say that with me? And when we say that together, I want you to open your hands and let your feelings go and give them to God, okay? Okay, we're going to pray. Come, Holy Spirit. And just offer those feelings up to God. You are made so beautifully, my God. And you are giving him great delight right now by saying, here, God, here's my happiness. Here's my loneliness. Here's my confusion. Here's my anger. Now, I want us to take some time to listen to God's voice. We have given him our feelings. Now let's listen to see what God has to say to us. Is he saying anything to you? I'm going to give you some time right now just to sit and listen for God. listening to God. Tell him how you feel. Now parents, parents, guardians, uh, this is a good time to help your kids find their language for their feelings right now. You can ask them questions like, what are you feeling? Or what do you want to talk to God about right now? going to give you some time to share with God and each other. As we end, I want us to ask God just one more question. God, is there anything else you want to say to me or want me to know? 
Let's listen for God's voice. Oh God, we take time out of our day to be with you, to let you know we love you, and you're always with us. And God, you love us more than we will ever know. You're always listening to us. So dear God, help us to have love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness oh dear god may we have that that gentleness and that self-control amen dear adults if there's anything that you sense that god is saying to your little one remember to share it with them and pray it over them. And what I would like to do now, very special time, I'd like to wrap up this family praying, listening practice with having Abby come right where I'm at and offer a prayer for all of us. And it's a prayer from Jesus himself. God bless you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Amen.